Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of this show. Yes, this is my Google Chrome, or one of them, Chrome of the Google Chromecasts. I do apologise. And uh, it's really choppy, like the video on it is getting really choppy. And if the video is okay, the sound is choppy. And I tried connecting it to different access points and, and generally messing with it. It does get rather warm, so I thought I'm going to have a look inside. I've just I've kind of had enough of it now because it's almost uh, unusable at present. So I've got nothing to lose. And uh, I remember the original Chromecasts when I um, got into one of those. It was quite easy to kind of mod to add uh, an additional external antenna. So I'm, I'm wondering if that might you know help this this gadget. But if I can get it open, it does not seem to want to open in any obvious way. I've really sealed this bastard together. There seems to be no weakness in its shielding. There's a little bit around this HDMI point. Hmm. Let's see if we can just prise a little bit up so at least we can get an idea of what's under there. I think it's just bonded. I think that's the problem. Whoa! That could have been painful. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Phew! That was a bit of a challenge, I have to admit. I didn't expect that much resistance, to be honest. It does appear to be just maybe bonded it's just like a snapped on fitting still there we go so there's three little teeny teeny torque screws I have to locate my teeny teeny torque screwdriver now let's have a go let's see where we are with this bad boy So there's a big old metal can under everything. That's a sort of quite radical change in the design since last time. Yeah. Woo. Just a big metal can on both sides. And that's why it gets warm. Look, that's the heat sink effectively. So you've got a big uh, metal disc there and then a thing that sits on there. So that's sinking to the case. So it's a... Uh, uh, it's a plastic case, so it's just relying on that really. And everything else is canned. Canned goods. Should we prise that off? So hopefully it's not soldered. Mm. Gently, gently, catchy monkey. Chips. So there's the uh, must be the main sort of processor chip there because that's the one that's under our spludge, or it could be at least the RF chip. So I'm going to make a little spludge pile. So that at least at least when we push this back on, it will squish into it a bit better. It's still kind of moist. It's a kind of a moist paste. Let's see what's under this one. The other one was so inviting, I almost just wanted you to open it up. I'm uh, I'm not seeing any uh, antenna. I'm wondering if they're uh, basically putting the antenna down the HDMI wire. It might be a dual purpose HDMI wire. Okay, so this has got another one of those blobs on it, but they're, they're not like, to be honest, that's where the chip is. And that's moved. It's actually migrated. Look, 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 look. Started here and it slid off. So that's probably why these frigging things stop working. There we go. This is like a Chromecast fix, guys. If you've got one of these, strongly consider this. Look, these blobs do appear to be bloody moving. So that migrated. So maybe it's just not got adequate cooling because it just ends up sliding off the frigging die. And uh, then you're shafted, aren't you? Now, this interestingly does look like a connector. 
Okay, so you can take the HDMI lead right, take it right off. So I can see antennas here. If you're looking for the antenna, you can see one antenna here, another antenna here. And there's another little, little, little one up there. Yeah, and that's it. They're all just one, two, and three. So if you were going to mod it, I suppose you could try to fit a connector here and then whip it off. I guess one is going to be the 2.4 gig antenna, one's going to be the five, but that's odd actually. Or unless it's two 2.4s and one five, something like that. You could do the math. There's really nothing left to do than just put it all bloody back together then really. So in terms of the chip stuff, there's not much going on there. There's no cooling at all going on from that guy. I suspect, yeah, it was just overheating. So I might just do something else. I'm just going to have a look at my shelf. I've got some paste. might just put a bit of solder paste, not solder paste, Arctic um, whatever it's called, as well as that. It stays a bit juicy, doesn't this stuff? It sort of might be a bit more compliant if it bloody opens. What the heck? What the heck, man? Whew. That was tight. Tight. <laughs> That's more than you're ever going to want to put on. I'll do the other side in a sec. Let's get this one side done. Okay, let's get this HDMI thing back though, don't want to forget that. Seems to be a magnet in that. If I recall it comes sort of shipped wrapped back over on itself, I'll show you that in a moment, that's why there's a magnet. I think it was, it's kind of like that when you get it in the box, that's, it's magnetised. So we can see when we that from here that this mark here shows that this blob is kind of over there, which I suppose is okay. It'd be interesting to see if I can lift it though, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna make it into a little pile. That way it'll splurge. to hopefully the required shape. So there would be an opportunity of adding additional heat sinking here if one really fancied it. Just see how this disc is held in. It's held in pretty damn tight, so I suspect that's glued in. We're not glued enough. So it's just tape basically. So if you wanted to, you could cut a square here and then fit a heat sink to the back of this metal disc and then have protruding heat sink from the back. Probably gonna save that little idea, or am I? Hmm. Let me have a think about this. She's just a cosmic girl. Transmitting on my frequency. She's cosmic. Oh yeah. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law one. <laughs> nope. One more. Do nicely. Could have cut a square hole, but I'm lazy. Need something. I need something like to cut this. 
I need some loving, 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 loving. Right, so my idea is basically to get the heat sink through the case. And I'm just gonna test that. Oh, actually, I kind of can. I can as is. Wunderbar. <laughs> nice work. Nice work there, guys. Just gonna mark though where the corners I'll show you. I'm going to mark where the corners of the heat sink were just to give them a little bit of uh, relief. There we go. Get those corners out. So realistically though, it probably would have been fine and just working without this mod, but I'm, I'm doing this mod just for the sheer, whew, I don't know, hell of it, just the sheer pure enjoyment of hacking a thing. Hacking a thing that a multinational company spent millions of dollars developing and me thinking I know better with my uh, 50 cents of uh, arctic whatever paste and uh, that fits nicely and a bit of a heat sink that I just got off you know I ripped off something else I think that I might just I'm going to fit this first and then I'm going to just clear off a little area because it's got double sided sticky tape on it you might see that shininess I don't really kind of don't want that so I'm just going to mark that off there, I want it removed. Click that through. I'm just going to scrape that off. There we go. That scrapes off nice and easy. I don't mind just abrading this slightly because I kind of want it to be a good connection. Let's see if I can get in there. There you go. Got in there with my little sort of Scotch Bright type thing. <laughs> Bang! That goes in first. That goes in second. Get some screws in. So the question is will the lid? go on and stay on now that it's been uh, prized away from its housing. Might need a little bit of cleaning but I suspect it should be okay. Nothing was too mauled. Just going to have a quick check. Yeah, I don't know, that seems okay. I think it'll be alright, it's worth trying. Worth trying first and then worrying about it later. It does seem to go on a particular way around though, so it does have sort of marking uh, alignment marks. And that's them. Yeah, it seems a little bit on the fragile side, but I suspect, uh, yeah, a bit of glue would be no problem if it does kind of come off, but. I don't think so. How much motion does that get behind your telly? Right, let's get this heat sink on. Oh, it's so cute. There is actually a bit of movement there. That metal disc. The metal disc behind that was actually sliding slightly, so doesn't, that sort of implies that there might not be the best mechanical connection you know in these. So if you are doing this again, if you're doing it yourself, get in there and maybe have a look. See if there's a uh, thicker conductive pad you can get, one that's a bit more solid, not so jelly-like like that. Because you might want that additional bit of tension just to keep it all nicely, you know, sandwiched together. I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to try that out. 
So if you uh, have one of these, have a go at opening it up and see how that works out for ya. And uh, if that removes the star, I'll be very happy. Please comment down below if it worked for you. Like, share, subscribe, and as ever, thank you for watching. In conclusion, great success!